This is Deborah Potter at News Lab, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a map with data using Google Docs. Now, it's a free service. You do have to have an account with Google, but I do. And I've saved into that account a Google document, which is actually a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, of drugstores uh, in my general area. And I've saved this information in two columns. You can only use two columns for Google Maps, so it's simple but limited. And in these columns, I have the address of each of the places I want to map and the name of each of those places, which I want to show on the map. So I'm going to highlight them, as you see, highlight the cells that have the information in them. And then I'm going to go up here to the Insert menu. And on the Insert menu, I will use what's called a gadget. Google thinks of maps as gadgets. And then here come my possibilities, and among them is a number of maps. And I'm going to use this map, obviously. I'm not making a heat map or a store locator, so I want to add that to my spreadsheet. Now, it's already told me the range of the cells I'm going to use because I highlighted them. But I need to type in a title that's required. So let's call it Bethesda Drugstores, clever, A. Eh? I do want the last column to be used as tooltips because I want people to be able to read them. We can zoom using the mouse wheel. I don't see any point in a hybrid map because I don't think people want to see a satellite view of the drugstores. And now I'm ready to create the map. So if I apply and close, we just wait a couple of seconds, and the map itself will be generated. Here it comes, and there's the information. So if you hover over each of these pins, you should be able to see what's in them. There's the CVS on Sangamore Road. Here is the one on Wisconsin Avenue the Village Green, another CVS. Fine, it exists. It's attached to my spreadsheet. What can I do with it? Well, if I go up here to the title and click, I have the option to publish my gadget. When I click on that, I'll get HTML code that I can simply highlight and paste into any page to publish my gadget, to publish my map. Not difficult at all, you can produce them very quickly, and they're extremely helpful to let your viewers and users online see where things happened. That's it. Pretty simple. Have a good time.